Climate change and sea level rise have been oncoming issues in the world since the industrialization period. According to the Chesapeake Bay Program Scientific and Technical Advisory Committee, ocean levels are rising at a rate of about 3.2 millimeters per year. This means that by the year 2100, the water would rise between 0.75 meters to 2 meters. Combined with the fact that most of the land in our region is slowly sinking due to the isostatic rebound of the Earth's crust from the weight of long absent glaciers, groundwater removal, and slippage of the coast into the crater we know as the Chesapeake Bay, if we don't change our fossil fuel patterns and non-renewable resources consumption, then sea level rise will no longer just be an estimated number, but it will become our reality. My name is Savannah, and I'm involved in band and National Honor Society at school. I lived in the Virginia Beach area for the past few years, and I'm concerned about the sea level rise that might put my community underwater. This year in my environmental class, I've learned about the sea level rise crisis. In order to save my community, which we care deeply about, we need to implement several measures to save the place we call home. Global temperatures have been slowly increasing throughout the past hundreds of years, but in the past 20 years, they have spiked to an all-time high, according to Hampton Roads Climate Change, Global Warming, and Oceans Level Graph. This means that sea level rise is a threatening future to our Virginia Beach area. Preventative measures such as living shorelines, increasing the R value of our homes, raising the height of our homes, and creating more sand dunes and blockades from the ocean can all help the Hampton Roads area thrive as a community above water. Using strategies like these could help slow the sea level rise and keep climate change at a low, allowing future generations to live happily in the Hampton Roads area. My name is Emma, I'm a student at Kellum High School, I am part of the Junior Senate, and I'm an active citizen in my community. Increasing the R value of a home simply means installing thicker and more dense insulation in your home. With more insulation in a home, that means you're able to use less energy to heat and cool your home. Kellum High School has even implemented some of these passive solar heating and cooling elements in the school. If you have southern exposure on a building, you will gain passive solar heating in the winter time because the sun never goes about 30 degrees longitude. In the summertime, you angle the roof so that the overhang blocks the sun from getting inside. This reduces thermal heat gain and is free. All you have to do is mathematically calculate the roof angle. Living shorelines consist of an area of the ocean that have lots of plant life and fish communities that can absorb the ocean water and absorb shock from waves. Living shorelines absorb storm shock, so not as much ocean water can do damage to our homes. Shorelines include sand dunes or simply just living plants near the shores of our oceans. So why should we preserve Hampton Roads? My name is Hannah. I'm a junior at Kellum High School, and I'm an active member of Science National Honor Society. I have lived in the Virginia Beach area my whole life, and it is a place I would like to be able to come back and visit or even live someday. The Pungo Strawberry Festival takes place in May, and if the area was flooded or even three feet underwater, we wouldn't have access to the land and the festival would have to relocate or be postponed indefinitely. Roads to Sandbridge Beach run through marshy areas and over low bridges where it is almost always high tide. Rain itself floods these areas, and if sea level rises, we risk completely losing these roads and beaches that many high school kids and tourists go to every day. These are just few of the reasons why we should work together to preserve our home. The Port of Hampton Roads is also described as a mid-Atlantic load center, according to the Hampton Roads Chamber. We are also a world leader in coal export shipments, making our oceans access one of the most important in the nation. The threat of sea level rise not only means less land area, but also damage to our trade economy. The WPA, which means Works Progress Administration, and the CCC, which means Civilian Conservation Corporation, established by FDR-19, planted grasses and trees on man-made sand dunes along the coastline. These dunes are still standing today at approximately 10 to 25 feet. Another strategy that Hampton Roads could implement is the use of adaptive infrastructure. Some examples include floating structures, elevating on pikes, and amphibious structures that raise a few feet when water level rises underneath the buildings. Places in New York have started to implement and plan for these structures, so it would make sense for other coastal areas to start thinking about architectural strategies as well. Mitigative strategies could also help slow sea level and global temperature rise. Some of these include using more geothermal energy or natural gas when it comes to heating and cooling homes, carpooling to work, driving less, and using different energy guzzling products. We can't just accept sea level rise and learn to live with it. We need to find ways to reduce our fossil fuel emissions and slow the change in our climate so that future generations can have a happy life in Hampton Roads. The Norfolk area is home to Eastern Virginia Medical School, 
a place my mom has worked since I was born. Because Norfolk is right up against the Elizabeth River and the Chesapeake Bay, it is put at an even higher risk for loss of land from sea level rise. The Norfolk bulkheads and sea walls of the ocean front can only accommodate for so many feet of water that comes from high tide and flooding. Tourist attractions at the ocean front will be threatened and we could lose all tourism completely in that area. If we don't act fast, then access to many major areas of Norfolk, like EVMS, Nauticus, and even the Hermitage Museum will be cut off from other parts of Virginia. Naval bases will have to relocate and our economy will suffer massive losses. No one person has the power to stop climate change altogether, but if we work together with the common goal of preserving area in mind, then we won't have to sacrifice our beloved landmarks and personal memories so soon. But if we keep up with the current emissions, our planet as a whole will continue to increase 4 degrees Celsius over standard industrial levels. If you can't picture what would happen in our area, think about low-lying areas of Bangladesh and how much greater those less fortunate people would be affected. Their flooding would increase by 69% with a, just a foot of sea level rise. So let's make a difference in not only the lives of our future generations, but the lives of others and make a change to stop the change, because water is only safe in moderation.